Well, hey kids and hi families. Great to see you again and thanks for joining with us. Welcome to Sadie and Corbin, to Emmett and Daniel, to Connor and Brandon, to Lucas and Gabe, and to Esty, to Thomas and Rosie and Charlie, and then to Abby and Hunter, to Prairie and Ada, then to Benjamin and Clara and Tobias, to Sam and Chloe, then to Eden and Dylan Rose, to Logan, Molly and Natalie, and to Georgia and Francis. Hi kids, whether you're big or little, thanks so much for joining with us. Auntie Jen has got some more hints. She's very good at helping us out. So hi, Auntie Jen. Hi kids. How are you? Good. That's great, nice to see you. Well, my first hint today is Ooh, some binoculars. We're going on an expedition. I'm going to spy up there and see Ooh. if I can see the birds in the trees. <gasps> or there might be a bear out there. Binoculars oh. and spying. Good hints. Hey, okay, that's my okay. first one. That's a good one. Oh. Oh, those These are These are ones. luscious grapes. Look at Ooh, them. Oh, my. My Those look good enough best. to eat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they are so yummy. Grapes. So, yes. Uh, an abundance of fruit, binoculars, spying. What yeah. else do we have, Auntie Jan? Well, I've got a weight here. Oh, it would that need looks somebody very strong. Like Lucas or Gabe or well, maybe I think Emma. I have a giant or... like you. Oh. Hmm. And it makes me wonder. feel like I'm a little grasshopper. Boy, I sure wish I had some of my guys here. And maybe some of the girls, too. I wonder if they... But, yeah, let's see. Oh, that does have some weight to it. <laughs> That's okay. So, strong and giant, giant. and a grasshopper feeling like uh -huh. a little weak grasshopper. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Okay. There's another one. Oh, and... and then... What... We've had some numbers for a while. Yes, so we have. So this is an easy one. Everybody knows that's the number two. Two. Okay. So Very that's, good. That's those are great. Hint. So those are your hints. Those today. are great hints. So binoculars and spying and then grapes and abundant fruit and then the weights because Auntie Jan felt kind of weak and not very strong like a big giant and... Did I get them all? The number two. The number two. Okay. Boys and girls, you can talk it over with your family. Can you think of a story in the Bible that would have all of those hints in them? You can. Yeah. You know what, boys and girls? We're going to talk this week about wandering in the wilderness and God's brave explorers. Now, in your Bibles, you can find this in Numbers chapter 13. But here's our story for this week, coming out of the Story for Children, a storybook Bible. Now, God's rules and laws were perfect, but God's people weren't. They wanted to obey the laws. They wanted to live holy lives, but still, they made bad choices, and they did the wrong things. When they thought God had left them, they made their own God, a calf made out of gold. God wasn't very happy about that, but when the people said that they were sorry, God forgave them. The Israelites prepared a special tent for God called the tabernacle, and God placed a cloud over the tabernacle during the day, and at night he appeared as fire. Day or night, the people could see a sign of God's presence as he led them through the wilderness. God provided for his people as they made their way to the promised land, the land of Canaan. You know, after traveling in the wilderness, Moses and the Israelites reached the edge of Canaan, the land that God had promised his people. The weary travelers were excited to know their journey was almost over. Moses called all the people together. Before we enter this promised land, we must send explorers to learn about the land and the people who live there, he said. Now, Moses chose 12 explorers, and he gave them instructions. Go south, and then go to the mountains. See what the land looks like. Is the soil good for planting? Are there lots of trees? Are the people strong, or are they weak? What are the towns like? 
Are they open like camps or do they have walls like forts? The 12 explorers packed up and off they went. They searched and looked and investigated for 40 days. I kind of wonder if they had binoculars as they were spying things out. What do you think, Auntie Jan? Well, they came back to Moses with a report. The land is awesome, said the explorers. The soil is good for planting. Just taste these wonderful grapes. grapes. Oh man, we found lots of good grapes and pomegranates and figs. They shared their treasures with all of the people. The Israelites couldn't wait to enter the land. Excitement grew among the people. But when Moses asked about the Canaanites who lived in the new land, the explorers began to disagree. Ten were fearful, and they told the others, We can't go there. The cities are huge. They have huge, great big walls around them. And the people, they're like giants. They're big and strong. And we feel kind of weak, like grasshoppers. They will kill us if we try to take their land, they cried. The fears of the ten explorers quickly spread through the camp. We were better off back in Egypt as slaves, the people protested. But two, two very brave explorers, Caleb and Joshua, they weren't afraid. They were strong and brave, and they trusted God. We can do it. We can take the land. The Lord is on our side. Don't be afraid of the people. They have no protection, but God is with us. And despite all the good things God had done for his people, the people didn't believe Caleb and Joshua. And God was not very happy with the Israelites' lack of faith. Moses pleaded with God to forgive the people. God listened to Moses and he agreed to forgive. But God did not allow his people to enter the land for another 40 years. Boys and girls, we can take quite a lesson from Joshua and Caleb, the two very brave explorers. And you know, it leads us to our memory verse. And our memory verse for today is Philippians chapter 4, verse 13. Let's do that together. Ready? Philippians chapter 4, verse 13. And it says, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Can we say it again? Okay. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Very good, boys and girls. Thanks for helping us out. I'll just lead us in a word of prayer, and then Auntie Jan can tell you about some other resources, songs, and videos, and the craft. Okay? Let's pray together. Father, we thank you for taking care of us and our families. Help us to remember your promise that you never leave us. And even if we find ourselves facing some pretty difficult challenges, we're glad for the strength that you give to us. Help us to trust you and to know that even if we might feel scared, we can ask you for help and you will help us. For we pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Okay, Auntie Jan. Well, your craft is a fun one this week. Oh, You're that going looks to awesome. Get to make a grasshopper, grasshopper. hat. Mm -hmm. There you go. Yeah. So you can put that on and you can jump around. I wonder if any of the boys would catch a grasshopper. Well, they might. They might. <laughs> the other thing you could do is you could take some toilet paper rolls and you could make yourself some binoculars and get oh, yeah. them. Oh, yeah. So, mm -hmm. yeah. So if you have some left over around the house, just make some of those. There we go. Um, the videos um, is Joshua and Caleb by Felix Fu. That's one of them. And the other one is Joshua and Caleb from the Gospel Project. So okay. you can watch those videos. Awesome. And there's lots of different songs you could you could sing. You could sing the song, My God is So Big, So Strong, and, and So Mighty. mighty. Most there's, of you know yeah. that one. And then there's also a, a different version of it um, by Go Fish. So you could look at that. Then um, there's a song by the Planet Shakers, Mar Mana House Kids. It's Nothing is Impossible, or else you could do the one with the dance lyrics and actions, because that's kind of a fun one. Too. There you go. So 
that's some ideas for this week. Okay, that's great. Have fun with the craft. One more. Okay. You can play I Spy with my little, little eyes. eyes. Something <laughs> that is green. I wonder if you know. Hmm. Would it be like the walls? Yes. <laughs> so there you go. You can play that game. And then you can talk about how the story relates to that game. That's right. Yeah. So, boys and girls, you know, sometimes we find ourselves in kind of scary situations. Well, Joshua and Caleb put their faith and trust in God. Mm -hmm. And with God's strength, we can do it. So that's a good lesson for us for this week. Hey, just like we do every week, boys and girls, take your hands, put them right out in front of you, cross them over your chest, give yourselves a really, <laughs> oh, so tight squeeze. Yep, we love you. We miss you. You know, we were able to see some of you last Sunday. We would love to see you if you're able to come out on a Sunday uh, and, and, and be here. That's always so much fun. Take care and stay safe, everyone. And we'll see you again next week, okay, boys and girls? Bye for now. Okay, bye-bye. Yeah.